Hello, fellow food lovers. Today, I will be making Chinese pea shoots with dried scallop sauce. You will need one pound of pea shoots, twelve dried scallops, and one tablespoon of minced ginger. For the sauce, you're going to need one tablespoon oyster sauce, one tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon chicken powder, one teaspoon sesame oil. One teaspoon sugar and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay, I got a piece of ginger here. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to cut that in half. So just enough to make a tablespoon. So we'll mince that fine. Okay, so I got 12 dried scallops that I've soaked overnight. This is what they look like in the dry form, and you can usually buy them in a Chinese grocery store. So I uh, put it in a bowl, I covered it with water, and I soaked it overnight so it softened up. So I drained the water, and I'm going to break them up into little pieces. They break up quite nicely into like fine strands. So you want to break oh, each of the scallops up. That's what it looks like after it's broken up. Okay, so I'm going to take about a pound of pea shoots. These are kind of like a luxury vegetable in Cantonese cooking. They're usually quite uh, expensive too. They're usually double the price of anything else like bok choy or gai lan or anything like that. That bag of, it's about two pounds, was probably about $10. Okay, so we're going to take about a pound of the pea shoots, and it's really trimmed already. You don't need to uh, cut it or anything. Then I'm going to wash them. I'm going to fill that bowl with water. Pea shoots tend to be quite clean, but it's good to give them a rinse. They're usually cut from off the top of the plant, so it's quite, you know, far away from the ground and the dirt. So they tend to be a cleaner vegetable. Okay, so I'm going to rinse it and then drain it. It doesn't have to be fully drained, it's going to be going into boiling water anyways. Okay, so I got a wok. It's about half, half full of water that I brought to a boil. I'm going to add all the pea shoots in there, the, the one pound of pea shoots. This is a very tasty vegetable too. And I'm going to cover it with a lid so that it'll steam faster. So it might take about five minutes to cook the pea shoots. So you want to boil it until it's cooked basically. Okay, so five minutes have gone by. As you can tell, it's kind of changed color. It's becoming a little bit more wilty. So five or six minutes is really all you need. Anything beyond that, and it'll be overcooked. It'll be kind of mushy. You don't want that. Okay, I'm going to transfer it onto the serving plate. So I'm using a glass Pyrex pie plate.
I'm going to drain the excess water from it. So the pea shoots are done. Now we're going to clean the wok and we're going to make the sauce now. So I heated the wok up. We added two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm going to add the ginger to that. I'm going to stir fry the ginger for maybe 20-30 seconds just so it starts to get a little golden brown and the flavor of the ginger is infused into the oil. Give that a stir. Okay, I'm going to add a glass of water to that. I'm going to make the sauce. We're going to add a, a tablespoon of soy sauce. tablespoon of oyster sauce a teaspoon of sugar <clears throat> my mother says that you need to add sugar to all the sauces it really brings out the flavor of the sauce Okay, and we added a teaspoon of chicken powder and a teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay, we're going to add uh, the broken up dried scallops now. So you want to cook the scallops in the sauce for about 3-4 minutes so that the flavor of the scallops kind of infuses into the sauce. It gives the sauce a really nice seafoody flavor. If you get this dish in a Cantonese restaurant, a high-end Cantonese restaurant, oh, we're going to make the cornstarch slurry now. So I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. So that's two half, half tablespoons. I'm going to add a quarter cup of water to that and mix it up so it's all well mixed in. Yeah, so if you order a dish like this at a high-end Cantonese restaurant, they might use maybe two or three pieces of dried scallop for this dish so you might see a couple of threads in the sauce so it's not that overly expensive so you make it at home you know for the wow factor you know put as many scallops as you can in there like like I said 12 pieces is really a good amount to make for the sauce this is a really good Chinese New Year dish too okay so I added uh, the cornstarch slurry to the sauce to thicken it. You want to make sure that the cornstarch is dissolved in the water before you add it into the sauce. And let that boil for a bit so it thickens. Okay, so we turn the heat off, it's done. And we're going to spoon that over the pea shoots. This is a very elegant dish because the pea shoots is considered like a high-end vegetable in Cantonese cuisine and dried scallops is considered a kind of luxury item as well so the two combined make for a very nice dish. Okay, there you have it. That's Chinese pea shoots with a dried scallop sauce.
This makes a very nice dish for special occasions like Chinese New Year, Christmas, birthdays. As you can see with the big pieces of scallop in the sauce, it kind of makes for the wow factor too. Okay, bon appetit.